Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Lord of the Rings online let's play and we are back with Baird Beam and today we're going to continue on the main story quest. So let's go find Theoden and Aomer outside the keep of the Hornburg. Talk to Theoden outside the keep of the Hornburg. Talk to Aomer. Where? Where do I go? I can't hardly see. So dark. I think I want to go over there, actually. So it's definitely been a while since I've played the game. Again, it took another little break. Um, we went to Milwaukee, <laughs> Wisconsin, to a Brewers game. So there's a maelstrom of activity outside the walls of the Hornburg. So we took a little vacation um, and I wasn't able to get on and play. Um, so apologies for the wait in between this episode and the last episode, but this we had is fun. where I will make my stand. Let Saruman's armies come. Welcome to the Hornburg, Baird Beam. This is where I will make my stand. Let Saruman's armies come. They will break upon our walls and we will scatter them across the fields. There's no shortage of tasks to be done. The only thing we lack is time. The scouts tell me Saruman's forces will be here before the moon is high. Hmm. No, talk to Mayor Aomer outside the keep. Here he is. <laughs> you ride a fast steed, my friend. Were you able to help my sister Eowyn? And how did you find my own home in Aldberg? Has Arsul maintained the village as well as his father once did? You give Eomer what tidings you can in the little time you both have to spare. I see. My uncle believes this battle will be over quickly, but I am not so certain. I hope he is right. There will be much work to do to restore the mark, even once the fighting is done. But first we must survive the coming battle. Up to Aragorn. Hey, Aragorn. I didn't realize that was you standing right my there. Heart tells me we are in for a long night. I'm glad to see you well, my tra- Or I'm glad to see you, my well-traveled friend. My heart tells me we are in for a long night. The men of Rohan have sheltered in the Hornburg before, and his walls have never failed them. I have seen many points of weakness already, and we have only been here a short while. We must ensure the fortress does not fall. If Rohan falls, I fear the rest of Middle-earth will not stand long. Weapons are in short supply. Erkenbrand had a small amount for the garrison, but his men took most of the weapons and armor with them when they rode to the fords, and most of them have not returned. Theoden has called for the people of the Westfold to send as many iron goods as they can spare to the deep. It is not much, but we may be able to fashion weapons and crude armor from these iron goods in the hours we have before the battle is joined. Search through one of the barrels for iron goods and sort its contents on the nearby mat. Any strong iron could be useful, but we need to know what we have available. What barrel? Oh, right here. Alright, sort it out. With a third of the goods set out on the mat, you see little of use. With most of the goods set on the mat, you still see little of use. With all the goods set on the mat, you see one or two usable pieces. I have had an idea, friend. While watching the men training, I realized something interesting from a great distance. I could not tell if a man was training with a straw dummy or if his opponent was merely parrying his blows without a great deal of motion. If I, with the keen eyes of my people, could not tell the difference, what would one of Saruman's ill-bred minions make of it? I think we should carry some training dummies to the top of the wall, Baird Beam. It will make our numbers seem the greater, and any arrow wasted upon a dummy is one which could have struck a fighting man. That is a trade worth any amount of heavy lifting. Pick up one of the training dummies. carry it over here. Oh look, we actually have it in our hands. That's fun. <laughs> Where does he want it? I 
out there. Ooh. Past the, um... The music is... Alright, where do I put this now? You set the dummy atop the wall and hope it will draw fire away from the defenders. Talk to Legolas. Hey. That is a clever idea, if it proves successful. Unless Saruman's armies turn aside from some reason I cannot tell, tell, they will arrive at the deep during the hours of darkness. They will not be able to tell the difference between these dummies and the defenders atop the wall until they get very, very near the wall. And by then I will have claimed many lives of orcs. I spoke for a time with your friend Corridon. I met his sister when we stayed in Lothlorien. Sigilith were here with her deadly knives, the orcs would have a great deal to fear. While I am wishing for unlikely happenstance, why not hope for the arrival of an army of my own kin? That would be a sight indeed, but they are far from here and have their own concerns and their own lands to defend. The Rohirrim are on their own. They will have to make do with two elves, one dwarf, and two men. Speaking of Corridon, he wanted me to send you to him. He rode down to the dike and said he wished to see the approaching armies with his own eyes. Okay. How does one get off this wall again? Down here? Of course, it's nighttime again while we're playing, <laughs> and it makes it so dark. Uh, we'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Right here. Okay. Let's get on our horse. We'll find Cordon. Where is he? He's all the way out here, huh? And I would hate to be the people out here. I'd be so scared. I'd be so scared in general for this. Hey, Corridon. Gambling the old. There you are, my friend. I am glad to see you before I leave. I'm going to ride for the dike and see what I can tell of Saruman's forces. There may be some weakness in their ranks we will be able to exploit, but until I see his armies on the march, all we have is rumor and fear. I will return before Lon and tell you what I have seen. Do not fear. I will return before the battle is joined, and perhaps with news that can help us. Stand strong and inspire the men of Rohan, Baird Beam. I know you will not let them down. Farmers of the Westfold have brought more iron goods for us. We have been fortunate so far, Baird Beam. Farmers of Westfold have brought more iron goods for us to use. Carry one of these barrels of iron goods to your friend Aragorn outside the walls of the Hornburg. He has been sorting through the barrels for anything of use and preparing for defenses. I'm gonna carry it all the way back. Oh, stop. <laughs> Alright, bye Corridon. I mean, pitchforks would be useful, I feel like. Bet I can't get on my horse. This is a lot to ask of an old man, you know? Carrying this all the way back over there. Do do. Bum bum bum. Are we close to daylight? Cordon, we are close to daylight. Probably gonna be daylight when we're done with the episode. <laughs> I 
Just what time I have to play, I guess. It's always going to be night time. barrel um, I think we go up go up here No, I think I want to go over here. Right? <laughs> Wait, where are we? Alright, let's go this way. I want to get to the middle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> At this point, we'll just go all the way around. Making this poor old man carry this barrel all this way. Thank you. There's a place to get across. Glad this isn't timed. And there's Ligolus. Okay. We did go all the way around. Yeah, this is right. There's Aragorn. You set down the barrel of iron goods and Aragorn nods gratefully. Thank you for bringing this all the way up here. I'm glad more barrels of iron are coming into the deep, but there is no certainty that we will be able to make use of their contents. It is worth the wager. Thank you for bringing this all the way here. Um, preparedness? Yes. That's the one that... You're the one that I want. The next few hours will sorely test us all, but none more than the King of Rohan. Aragorn speaks to you in hushed tones. The next few hours will sorely test us all, my friend, but none more than the King of Rohan. It will be Th Thaden's resolve, as much as the strength of the fighting men, that will govern our chances of survival. <clears throat> he will not speak plainly to me or any to any of us on this matter. It is not his way, nor the way of most who rule. Find Gleowin and ask him what he makes of the king's mood and temperament. I cannot tell if the king is putting on a brave face, but Gleowin has served him for many years and will know better than the, I the truth of this. I last saw the minstrel below us by a pile of straw near the western wall. I'd like to put on this ring. <clears throat> Let me take a drink here. My voice is going out already. There we go. Okay. Beneath us. I don't want to jump down there. <laughs> I would surely die. Bum, bum, bum. 
I feel like these quests are to help us get a lay of the land, you know? But I'm not sure. It might just be me putting too much stock into the devs. Where? Down there. Okay. Wait. There is a map on the table over there. Will you show me how the battle will progress? <coughs> Excuse me. I saw the king not long ago and he seems to be in fine spirit, spared beam. He is not blind to the danger, but he does not ignore it either. His is not bravery without cause, but courage based on confidence in his men and his own strength. He sheltered too long in his own hall and now that he emerges and sees battle, he is ready for it. I do not think Aragorn should worry about my king. Thaden will surprise him, and when the battle is upon us. Ah, I speak of battle, but I am a minstrel and a little of strategy or tactics. You've seen more of war than I have, and this old man counts himself fortunate. There's a map on the table over there. Will you show to me how will the attack will progress while we wait? Interacting with the map table near Glaywin will allow time to pass. Action will resume after midnight when the battle is joined. Alright, interact with the object at any time to travel to Helm's Deep after midnight. Study map. Yeah, we want to do this, right? <laughs> I'm scared! <laughs> I don't want to miss anything and I don't want to do the battle. I'm scared. Okay. <clears throat> the sound of fighting reaches your ears. The battle is joined. Gambling has a quest for us. Gorn gave us all some advice pertaining to epic battles, Beardbeam. Do you remember? Speak to me to learn all about them. Talk to Gambling to experience a short tutorial about the epic battle system. Hmm. Okay. I remind you of what Aragorn said to us before the walls of the Hornburg, but quickly. Hmm. <clears throat> So is this like a... Sarma's armies will soon be here, Barred Beam, but I fear that the... that my companions do not know what to expect. An epic battle is not like the engagements we have faced to this point, and I want to ensure that our friends are ready. This valley will soon be filled with Saruman's armies. We must prepare for battle. Look at this. I have fought in many wars, Aragorn. I know what is to be done. This will be different, Gimli. This is no small engagement. In the battle to come, the forces of Saruman will care little for individual heroes. <clears throat> they seek nothing less than the total destruction of Rohan, man, woman, and child. You are saying they will pay me no heed, and I will make them suffer for their oversight. I know you will, my friend, but what are the actions of a single man, or elf, or dwarf? Our foes number in the thousands. Uh, of course, my axe can only reach so many. That is why we must also instruct the men of Rohan how best to fight during each battle. Commander. Yes, Aragorn. During the tumult of battle, we cannot speak to every man individually. Instead, we will suggest tactical approaches to commanders such as you. Then you will relay them to the men under your command. Very good. 
officer. Selecting the commander will highlight all of the soldiers under his command. During battle, by speaking with someone awaiting orders like a commander, you can change the tactics of a group of soldiers. Some options are available uh, at the outset, such as healing the soldiers over time and increasing their damage output. Other options become available by spending points in the officer battle roll. What? This is nuts! Talk to Legolas and learn about approaching enemies. We have fought large numbers of enemies before, but never so many foes as this. There will simply be too many enemies for one hero to dispatch alone. We must use other methods against them if we are to survive. We will not fight the Oryx down here unless the battle goes ill. We will try and lessen their numbers from afar with ranged weapons and siege equipment. Legolas speaks the truth. Every foe we slay from a distance is one less foe to face up close. We will see them marching in formation towards us. If we can aim our ballista at these formations and fire at the right moment, we will face fewer enemies up close. Every one of those marching foes will scale our walls. We should lessen their numbers if we can. But I know little about siege equipment. I can tell you about it if you like. Enemies will march in formations toward us. When a formation reaches our position, enemies will engage in close combat. We should use siege equipment to lessen their numbers first before that happens. Anyone can build and use basic siege equipment. Other options become available by spending points in the engineer battle roll. Walk with the engineer and listen to him discuss siege equipment. Rare Beam, come with me to practice building the and using siege equipment. You can build such devices by interacting with their transparent outlines. <clears throat> Every time the progress circle fills up, the device moves closer to completion. Once a device is built, you can interact with it to aim, load it, and fire it. Try it now if you like. Build. It takes a long time to build. Bolt. Crank. Oh dang, it takes a long time to move it too. Okay. I get it. Wait, let me look at upgrade option. Requires one work unit, or 100 work units per second. Time to complete work. So we can't upgrade. Okay. What about this? Build. Oh. Is this gonna be super hard? Like. I feel like this is going to be difficult. They wouldn't make it impossible. It's meant to be fun. We're playing a game, we're having fun. 
damn it. <laughs> okay. Load options, regular shell. Powder options, can't do anything. Crank. Oh, the crank moves it back further. Fire! Okay, I like that one. Okay, yeah, go on. There are three different battle roles in which you can specialize, Baird Beam. These roles are Engineer, Vanguard, and Officer. By performing well during battle, you will earn points you can spend on these roles in the Promotions panel, becoming more effective at your chosen specialization. Speak with each of the representatives here to learn what each battle role has to offer. If you want to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with enemy forces, you should focus on the Vanguard battle role. Vanguards unlock powerful attacks by earning kill streaks, defeating many enemies in succession. They also receive benefits by dealing and receiving damage, and can also run faster than other heroes. The Vanguard is happiest when engaging in close quarters combat. If you want to excel at building, upgrading, and firing siege equipment, you should focus on the engineer battle role. Engineers can build siege equipment and other devices more quickly. They also have more options for upgrading and repairing such devices and can place traps to hinder the enemy. Engineers can also disable enemy traps. Interesting. <clears throat> if you want to excel at issuing orders to commanders and provide useful buffs to your allies, should focus on the officer battle role. Officers can issue more effective orders to commanders. They also have more commands at their disposal and can make a group of soldiers focus on particular targets or change their weapons. Officers can command soldiers to shelter from incoming catapult shells or arrows. Additionally, officers can plant banners that aid nearby engineers and vanguards. To more effective orders, commanders. They also have more commands at their disposal. Focus on particular targets or change their weapons. Okay. I would count mere survival of the battle a success given the foes arrayed before us, but the truest victory is one in which we overcome all the challenges the battle brings. As the battle ebbs and flows, we may be presented with optional side objectives. These are not necessary for victory, but completing them successfully will add to the merit we earn in the battle. The measure of our victory. The more you practice at a certain battle role, the more skilled you will become. The more efficient you are and the better you perform during battle, the more merit you will earn. Side objectives are optional, but if you can complete them, you will earn more merit. Merit leads to greater recognition among your fellows, but also to real rewards as well. Rewards! The thrill of battle is all the reward I will need. Well spoken, my friend. What say you, Baird Beam? Is there anything else you would ask? It is very complicated, but I believe I understand what Aragorn has said to us. We will do well, Baird Beam. I am certain of it. All right, give it a go. I'm not sure I understand the roles just yet, um, but let's do it. <laughs> Look, it is gambling from the dike. He seeks our help. Thank you for the lesson in strategy and tactics, my friend. I cannot say the lesson will remain long in the old head of mine, but for now, I feel glad having learned something of what awaits us here. Look, it is gambling from the dike. He seeks our help. Um, interact with gambling to experience epic battles, basic training, the tutorial for the epic battle system, if you're interested in the epic battle system. The tutorial is optional and can be skipped if you intend to play the storied tales of Helm's Deep. I already did this. 
I think battle is almost upon us. If you are willing to stand with my men, come with me to hold Helm's Dyke for as long as we are able. I know that we cannot hold the dyke indefinitely, but we will make them fight for it. I am no fool. Even if Saruman's forces were a quarter of the size the scouts say they are, I know we cannot hold the dyke indefinitely. But we will make them fight for it, will we not? Aye, we will. Come with me and let us stand against the vanguard. There are two ways to participate in the defense of Helm's Dyke. You can speak to Thenka for the storied tale, a story-focused experience, or you can use the epic battle panel for a more gameplay-intensive experience. Oh, I want to do the story one. Participate in the defense of Helm's Dyke, open the epic battle panel, and select Helm's Dyke from the menu. After you successfully complete the defense, you'll be returned to the location from which you entered it. Stenka? Yeah, I want to do the story one. Let us hurry to Helm's Dyke. If we have victory there, perhaps we can slow or stop the advance of the orcs. The rampart across Helm's Dyke will be the first line of defense. For how long will it hold? What did you say your name was? Baird Beam? Gamlin asked me to bring these bolts to the forward ballista. Will you aid me? Quickly now. Help, it's too tiny for me to click. <laughs> Forward Ballista. Follow me, Baird Beam. Oh my god, look at all of them. Wait. I stopped following. I wanted to look at the things. Right here, right here. What good will these bolts do for us? I have never seen so many orcs before in all my life. These bolts cannot slay more than three or four at a time, and that only if our aim is unfailing. My wife and my daughter shelter in the caves behind the deep, but for how long can we keep the orcs at bay? Fight alongside Senric at Helm's Dyke. Our foes are so many and we are so few. I will slay as many orcs as I can, but it will not be enough. And yet it must be, Senric. Are we not men of Rohan? Aye, that we are, Fenka. Above the din, you hear the sound of someone calling for you. Gamli needs our help. Follow me. Is there any hope? Orcs advance on the eastern side, this way. <clears throat> Where's my... There we go. Fauna. You don't have to do the epic battle if you don't want to. Suppose we could give it a try at some point. Y'all are coming too quick. I can't. I don't have time to heal. Bird beam to me. Let me just heal. I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> heal. We need to get to the other side of the dike, Bear Beam. This way. down there? What is that? It's some construction of Saruman. A mighty war machine. We will use it to melt the gate. We must think of some way to stop it. Is there something to drop on it or something? 
What can we do? Its iron casing will surely repel any of our weapons and will take only minutes to melt through the gate. We may not be able to destroy this machine, but we can slow the progress of the orcs that accompany it. Follow Thinka to the west side of the dike. To the west side, quickly! The supply of orcs is limitless. We have nothing to gain by remaining here. We must retreat. We have to fall back. Stuck. There we go. Hello, gambling? No gambling. I must defend my family. Not do that from here, Senric. There are too many. Fall back. Fall back. There's no time to lose. Watch your step on the rocks. Where are you going? Can we not stand against them? We must not lose the dike. The orcs will fill this valley. Our brother is ready for battle behind the gate. Brothers try to hold the gate. Can it be? Where's Cordon, by the way? Look! The gate cannot hold. Barret Beam, take Senric and go. Aw. Gambling, what about you? I will be right behind you. Follow me, Baird Beam. Barret Beam, wait. When the orcs come through the gate, no man will be long able to stand before them, no matter the strength of his spirit or the depth of his courage. They will pass right by here in their way to the fortress, but some of our bloodthirsty foes will turn their attention upon the horses tied at stable. These good creatures will be helpless. Help me untie our proud beasts and set them free. At least that way they might be able to fight back against those who come to destroy us. These poor creatures! I kind of should have thought about this, like, beforehand, I feel. This is a deed well done. <clears throat> it was a good thought to untie the horses for now. They will not be left defenseless in the face of our enemies. Even a cornered animal might slay an orc or two. Senko looks at you sternly. This seems to me clear, Baird Beam. We cannot hold the dike any longer, and the men at Helm's Deep are truly cornered themselves, and we with them. The orcs will see how ferocious we can be. To the fortress, my friends. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. All right, I think we are going to end this here um, because I feel like we're just gonna have back-to-back -back story missions like this. So, 
That was exciting. <laughs> I'm like nervous. My palms are sweaty for Helm's Deep. <laughs> but it's going to be good. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Lord of the Rings online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye everyone.